Looks like vegans are doing what they do best, starving babies to death. And we've done several videos now on the dozens of young children, babies, toddlers that have suffered at the hands of these brainwashed lunatics. Those being the ones that actually made it to mainstream news, I would assume thousands and thousands of children are suffering right now at the hands of the vegan cult. There are many people throughout this world suffering from a lack of nutrition, whether it be due to lack of knowledge of nutrition, what you should be eating, or simply famine. But to actually deprive someone of nourishment because of some false belief and dietary nonsense is crazy. You would assume it's something preventable, something that common sense would knock out of someone's head. But these psychopaths in charge of us, in charge of this vegan propaganda, are probably doing sacrificial rituals every time these children suffer and hit mainstream news. Every modern disease or ailment can be related to our modern lifestyles. This includes children especially. You know, were there cave paintings of children with cancer or leukemia? How has it been so easy for them to normalize ill children? How is it okay that being sick is normal? Whether you link the specific problem to improper nutrition or high environmental radiation levels, those are the two main culprits. Everything tends to be caused by diet or Wi-Fi, magnetic fields, electric fields. Strict vegan parents starve their baby of nutrients so badly that the one-year-old developed cerebral palsy and was in intensive care for a month with rashes and internal bleeding. A vegan couple's decision to ignore doctors left their baby malnourished. The one-year-old girl spent a month in Melbourne ICU. She was so sick. Doctors said their decision resulted in the child developing cerebral palsy. The pair pleaded guilty to negligence causing serious injury at court on Friday. The child suffered widespread bruising, discolored skin, rashes covering her body, and had multiple open wounds as a result of the parents' vegan diet. Upon closer inspection, doctors discovered she had internal bleeding and bloody stools. It was later discovered the onset of the toddler's disability was diet-related, court documents revealed. The baby had cerebral palsy as a result of brain injury secondary to malnutrition. Her parents had been feeding her a diet without animal products. Despite advice from medical professionals, their nutritional plan was inadequate. This poor child was literally deteriorating in front of their eyes, bleeding from the inside out. Now she has permanent neurological damage and will be mentally impaired for her entire life. It's one thing if these vegan degenerates want to destroy their own brain cells, but with the New World Order agenda at full force, it's apparent this evil starvation method disguised as a diet is being pushed on anyone willing to listen. And by no means is this neurological damage specific to children. This person has permanent hand spasms after five years of veganism. Their brain was completely scrambled just from not eating animal products for a few years. You know it's even crazier? The position of the American Dietetics Association that is parroted by these decaying vegan corpses. A well-planned vegetarian diet is appropriate for individuals during all stages of life, including pregnancy, lactation, infancy, childhood and adolescence, and for athletes. Same with the United Kingdom National Health Service. The NHS says babies and young children on a vegetarian or vegan diet can get the energy and most of the nutrients they need to grow and develop. Develop. Fucking losing my mind. This relays back to the deception we've been discussing every week now on this channel. The double speak, lying, gaslighting that these psychopaths in charge are experts at. And all of these influencers, these people in high social media positions are all part of the scheme. You know, to me it's crazy I didn't recognize this stuff beforehand, uh, but it, it does truly get unfortunate that every single corner you turn, they're just a bunch of fake liars trying to make money and trying to deceive you. In these articles, they will directly contradict themselves. On one hand, they say a vegan diet is perfectly adequate. On the other hand, they put a laundry list of potential nutrient deficiencies. By not being transparent or truthful, they're able to continue their deception, playing both sides of the coin. Oh, a vegan diet is great, but it might kill you. If people knew the intentions of the crazies in charge, they would line them all up in front of a ditch. And it would throw most people for a loop that the people following the vegan diets, the carnivore diets, the keto diets, each of these groups, 
they're all in the same club. They're all promoting each other. You know, it's no wonder that vegans and carnivores are commonly on podcasts with each other. They are all attempting to deceive you. And if you Google things like vegan diet for babies or vegan diet for children, you get the same nonsense. No straight answers. I guess you'll have to find out for yourself if the vegan diet is going to give your child brain damage. Now, this story might sound familiar because it is. There was another couple just last August that also tried to starve their baby to death. It seems like this happens every few months from a mainstream perspective, and just about every week another famous influencer or celebrity is no longer vegan, another vegan athlete dislocates their shoulder or explodes their ankle. Has there been any movement in general that has had so many obvious downsides from every angle? Anecdotal, logical, ancestral, and scientific. How can you not ask certain questions? Why is the vegan diet even legal? Why is it still being promoted so heavily? Why aren't these vegans being held accountable for their actions? It's simply part of the deception. Same with the wildfires, the BLM protests. Everything they're doing in the world is to guide the masses off a cliff into their new corrupted system. You guys have seen how the dietary guidelines over the past dozens of years have always deceived us and these influencers are doing the same thing now. They're just acting as controlled opposition, pretending they're suddenly on the good side. But what's scary is if these people are putting these dietary ideas out there and pushing them so heavily on people, what happens when they start actively taking control, doing medical mandates, forcing you to get injected with certain things, they're likely going to force you to follow some type of plant-based nonsense diet as well. Otherwise, hey, you might not go back to work if you ate too much steak and your cholesterol is too high. That might sound crazy. We are quickly coming to a world where that is becoming reality. So thank you guys for joining me today. I am getting a little tired of covering this vegan nonsense every week, but it really is a major component of this new world order nonsense and uh, a pretty good example of the active deception that they try to do. Uh, so if you guys do want to support me further, uh, you can check out everything down in the description. Uh, Frankie Syringe Meat is really uh, full force ahead. Uh, we're looking at a farm property this week. Uh, we've got a lot of products for you guys to offer. Everything's almost complete. And we'll also be doing a bunch of other exciting products, hopefully next week. Uh, Oregon Supplements, I should be getting you guys some stuff soon. Uh, Frankie's Naturals, up and running. I'll show you guys my hair routine this week. And you guys can go to the new frank-stefano.com website uh, to see everything, as well as get a consultation with me. Thanks again for joining me today, guys. I'll see you for tomorrow's video. And we're also live streaming tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern Time.